good. Oh, I didn't set the thing correctly. Uh, that works. All right. Only English is available at this time. When notifying when we're ready to recruit translators. We will start the game in the chosen language. Damn, it's loud in my ears. Hopefully it's not loud in the recording. To be fair, I'm probably going to be pretty loud. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone has called me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. Come correct this time. I am Manny. Your name is Manny. Okay, so you're Manny. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe is your friend. What might his name be, Barry? That's your friend's name. Alright, Manny. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Okay, hello everybody, welcome to Pokemon Luminescent Platinum. Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. This is a bug, because it's supposed to be... This is Luminescent Platinum. In Diamond and Pearl, they have the, uh... The Lake of Rage whatever thingy, but this doesn't work in this, because they changed it. <laughs> It just sounds funny. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Hello. There you are. Hey, Manny. Did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he just must he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So Oh hey! This is a new PC! <laughs> so cool. Uh where was I? Oh, right, right. We're going to see we're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Manny. If you're late, I'm finding you a million Poke Dollars. <laughs> Can I move? Alright, thank you. Hello everybody, welcome to Pokemon Luminescent Platinum. This is pretty much Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but it's been remade not just as Platinum, but the Dreano Hack Pokemon Renegade Platinum, which I have actually never played before. So, this is a doozy. Apparently, from what I've heard, it is definitely longer than, uh, what's it called? Um, it's longer than uh, Blaze Black Volt White, the first and the second. And there's also a lot of post-game stuff, a lot of static, a lot of new stuff too, just because this is fresh. So, we'll be getting into this. Manny, Barry left or already left. I don't know what it was, but he sure was in a hurry. Oh, I know. Manny, put these on. I got my running shoes. Going to Sanjum Town is like an adventure in, it, in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get into faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? I think the only thing I unfortunate about this skin, about this like, uh, hold on. Oh yes, Manny, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It will be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so. Yeah, it's like, I'm not a pale white person. I'm definitely tan, but... Uh, probably not this dark. Bit of a problem. Okay, hi. What was that about? Oh, hey, Manny. I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too. Be quick about it. Okay, Manny. I'm finding you 10 million Poké Dollars if you're late. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. 
What did he forget? The fuck? Hello, Palmer. What's Barry's mom up to? Oh, hi, Manny. Are you looking for Barry? My husband Palmer is home for once. Have you spoken to him? Barry and him are so alike. Neither of them can ever sit still. You came over to play with my son, right, Manny? Great. Enjoy yourselves. Don't get into too much trouble. Alright. I better take my bag and guidebook, too. I say bye to Daddy before he leaves. Oh, hey, Manny. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million polka fine. <laughs> it's a $10 million polka dollar fine if you're late. God, he keeps changing up the wording and it pisses me off because I can't. I'm trying to friggin' act it out and bro just keeps he's, he's juking me. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the tall grass. Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how about Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is, you scoot to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get a Zamdum Town without running into, into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then, what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, Manny. This old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm. What to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? You two. You truly love Pokemon, do you not? Yep. Me too. I, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you not? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times yes. Right, Manny? Yeah. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me like what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I... Uh, well, then forget about me. I'll give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Oh, how big of you. Very well, then. I will entrust you too with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise you that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm. Now, where... Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. What? Those Pokemon are crucial. You're giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on. Open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I, I can't believe it! I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face! Hey, Manny, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. I'll save. Not settings. Save a route. Uh, look, th these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now, choose. Which Pokemon will it be? Which one do you want, Chimchar? It was never a question. I love the other two, but Piplup is just my goat. Then, I choose you. I'm picking Piplup. I'm picking this Piplup. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now, listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. This fellow newcomer to the world. I hope you'll do well to do, you'll do good to do. I don't know what he said. <laughs> if you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sandman Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Hi, Professor Rowan. Professor, wait for me! Uh, sorry, folks. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's a really nice 
Rose of Rome is really nice. <laughs> Manny, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Yeah. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Manny, I challenge you to a battle. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Barry. Piplup! The animation he had is, is pretty sure new to this game. This is, this is a different UI mod, but it's fine. He has a. Yeah. I hit harder than that. I think I do. Oh, you're annoying. Oh yeah? When the going gets tough. I don't know. Oh. I know I'll put the text in on fast, but damn bro, slow down. Oh that's like cheating. Wow. Just give you an orange berry, huh? They really want you to win that fight. You're annoying. It's like actually 2 HP or something. Die. Oh no, I feel bad now. Let's go. One point in all my stats. Kind of lame, but whatever. What just went down? You telling me I lost again? Again? You lost before? Phew. Let's go home. I beat after that battle. I hope one needs rest too. See ya, Manny. Yeah, I just waxed the floor with you. Hi, Mom. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry are unharmed? The professor, the professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandrin Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Manny. I think you need to visit him in Sanjum Town. You need to properly thank him for giving you one of his Pokemon. I'm sure he will be grateful you did. Okay. I guess I'll be on my way then. Yo, least speaking. What the hell is that? <laughs> Hi, Barry. Too slow. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Owen so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we all, where we always play at? You know how they always say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. We're going to catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Okay, let's go. Going to Verity Lake front. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. Okay. What's going on? Flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. <laughs> he looks funny. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Manny. Let's catch that legendary Pokemon. What? That mess for it. What? Shaman? <laughs> He's so tiny. A strange creature is sniffing you. It seems to have something to give to you. You obtain the incense burner. You put the incense burner in your bag's key item pockets. The incense burner. This toggleable item allows you to encounter extra regional Pokemon. <laughs> Choosing a flower is for Luminescent 3.0, when all regions will be available in the wild. Uh, yeah, so apparently from what I've heard, it's kind of bugged. So you pick any Pokemon, it just gives you whatever the frick. It, it gives you all of them if you pick any. You find a flower on the ground. You reach down and pick it up. It smells 
like a change of a season, old and most ancient, tropical, infused with sunlight, like lush, open fields. I'm just okay. I like the change of a season. Okay, bye, Shaman. Bro, the boy is so tiny. Because they're all to scale. That's one. That's another mod, actually, they put in this. All the Pokemon that, like, follow you or whatever are, are like, actually to scale. So, like, tiny Pokemon like that are just like, so funny because they're so small. Did you hear that, Manny? That was the legendary Pokemon Clank. That had to be it. Okay, this is our, our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs? P-O-K accent E-Balls? Oh, shit, I skipped one on accident. Maybe Professor Ron would give us some if he asked? You know, remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him in his lab if we need anything. Okay, Manny, I'll race you. First one at the Professor's lab in San Jim Town rules. Head start ass bitch. I wonder what the first Pokemon I'll find is. Yeah, you know, I don't think this game would have it any other way if it wasn't freaking Bidoof. Whatever. Here's a... Nice attack lower on my special moves. Ow. Get out of here. Aw. I feel bad, like, beating a Pokemon. I actually haven't even checked out my own Pokemon. What's up, Chimchar? What you got? Impish nature. Uh, minus special attack, <laughs> not a good. Realistically, I don't know if I was gonna keep this thing anyway, but like, that's not good. Especially because it has Blaze and the Iron Fist, because you can get like, you get hidden abilities really easy in this game. Second account. Starly. The classics right there. Ow! That quick attack. Bro, that shit hurted. I get it, bro. Damn, I'm spamming it. Oh, I burned him too. Yeah, bro. Play hop off. Right, not another level, but that's fine. I'm literally just trying to get to this hand jump. Hi, Dawn. I didn't know that I actually played BDSP, so I haven't listened to most of the remixes of these songs. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our professor will put our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. God damn it. What the? Oh, it's you, Manny. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm out of here. It doesn't matter, Manny. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? My friend just seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. This big ass lab. Damn, you're staring at me like that for? Finally, you've come. Manny, was it? Let me see that Pokemon. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Nicknames. Please hold it away. Yeah, you can change. I can change my Pokemon's nicknames at any time. Which is very convenient. My friend Barry told me that the two of you had a battle. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. But when I see, there was a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want, you, I, want you, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon lives in the Sinnoh region. 
do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all of the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Good answer. Yay, Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Manny, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Manny. Your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. I also helped the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Manny. Let me out. Oh. Hm. What is that? Where did you find that object in your bag? A Pokemon shaped like the object gave it to you. Well, let me tell you something. That item you have there is called an incense burner. It was used in ancient times to drop Pokemon in from faraway places. It, was, it's belie it is believed to be shaped after the gratitude Pokemon, Shaman. The scent produced by burning special plants that Shaman can grow brings out all sorts of new Pokemon. My assistant and I have been researching this incense burner. It must have been left behind in our haste to leave Lake Verity. <laughs> the fact that Shaman itself saw fit to return to you, Manny, could not be a mere coincidence. Please, keep it and use it to expand your knowledge of Pokemon that visit Sinnoh. Am I, am I safe now? Can I leave? Okay, thank god. Please don't want me to go cutscene. Manny! I have something good here. You should take this as well. Oh. Okay. Poke radar. That's the Poke radar. Oh, that's the Pokemon radar. Oh, just Poke radar for short. Use it, and it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. You may need it to locate some rare species of Pokemon that you won't find naturally. Take these repels too. They help when using the Poke radar. Repels. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Okay. Okay, Manny. I'll act as your mentor. I've got to be more experienced than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It is the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It is a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Manny, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Okay, man. See how it is? Oh, that's right, Manny! Don't you think to let you know your, your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Walk faster! Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Hi, Nurse Julie. That was fast. I wanted to end it with NPC safe. Aw. Gym badge. Is he like a tutor? What they got in the Pokemon Mart? Aw, uh, the Mart music. Ah, I love them. God, I love Pokemon. I'm so glad this this like came out. I've really I've really wanted like a good a good just Pokemon game to play recently. I haven't wanted to play Pokemon ever since like Scarlet Violet came out. I haven't even touched those games still, but like <laughs> This is just a real good way to come back to it. I think I'll just talk to my mom and I'll be off for the episode. We've been here long enough. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, Manny. Are you and your Pokemon unhealthy? Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, Manny? 
Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Manny. I got something to go find useful. <laughs> the frick is a guidebook? It's a guidebook. Take a look at it if you want to find out what new features Luminescent has in store for you during your adventure. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Manny. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. Oh, yes. There's one more thing I wanted to ask of you, dear. That Pokemon by the window is an Eevee that I've been looking after. It's very young. But I think it deserves to see the world. Why don't you take it with you on your journey? Just talk to it when you're ready. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Alright. What? Huh? Oh, Barry. Excuse me. Is my little Barry here? Oh, oh no. He's not. Oh, and you must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Manny will deliver that to him. Won't you, Manny? Oh, really? You do that for me. Manny, please take this to Barry for me. The parcel. Or the parcel? Bye-bye, <laughs> Manny. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, you would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. <laughs> Save my adventure here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do the other stuff in the next episode. Not that, uh, I just kind of want to, uh, what's it called? <laughs> no, okay, funny, this is really bad timing, but I'll start checking on the other stuff in the, after this episode. I'll check out the guidebook, I'll grab the Eevee, start heading to Jubilife. I just, it's already been a hot minute. Also, I really, really need to go to the bathroom. But, yeah, this is, from what I've heard, this game is really fun. And just the idea of it has like really made me want to get back to playing uh, Pokemon because it's like, dude, I've not wanted to play Pokemon in so long. But this is the like, this is the perfect kind of thing. It's a good ROM hack. I've never played it before. In the shell of BDSP, which I never played before, with a bunch of new uh, quality of life stuff and a bunch of new stuff just from Renegade Platinum, even like stuff uh, new to Renegade Platinum, and it's just like, ooh, I'll, I'll be getting through this because right now I'm on my spring break, so. I'm gonna be getting through this real quick. You'll see that date not change for a while. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time.